Welcome back to channel everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can set and replace item level permission in SharePoint list using SharePoint 2013 designer workflow. It will be automatic process when a new user add a new item or update the existing one. The permissions level will be replaced for specific user or group that particular item. So how we can do that? Let's just talk about that. This is my data list which I have already created and I have around eight user right now here and that is my region column which have Asia and EMEA as a region selected right now. So what I'm going to do is basis of the regions I'm going to set permissions for every single item here. I've already created two user group with the Asia and EMEA having full control of the site right now and added some of the user to this particular one. So you can add as many as user you want to this specific group and then can provide permissions to this group using our SharePoint Designer workflow. I'll jump into my SharePoint Designer 2013 here and in the workflow section I'll select my data list where I've created the data <coughs> and <coughs> put the name up in this workflow and select the platform type as SharePoint 2010 workflow because this work in SharePoint 2010 workflow and once I'm there click on the top select the impersonation step here and <clears throat> write your if condition there so if the value is equal to if current item region because I'm dividing the permissions basis on the regions. If the regions value is equal to Asia, then I replace <coughs> permissions. Now I need to add a permission. Click on this choose one here. Select this people in group from SharePoint. Double click on this. And now just type the name of your group. Asia is there. Click on add. Click on OK. Click on OK. And here you can set the permissions level, what level of permissions I want to provide. So I'll select contribute right now and click on OK. Now click on OK. So <clears throat> I have provided the contribute permissions and for the current item I want to provide. So this is there and now I'll set the else branch there and in the if the value is equal to in the else if the value is equal to of reason is equal to EMEA then I'm gonna replace the permissions level add permissions click on choose people in group type EMEA search for this one EMEA is there select EMEA add here click on OK and I want to set the permissions level for EMEA also the contribute level click OK click OK this list will be a current item I'm gonna delete this step <coughs> and we are good to go so what this particular <coughs> formula is saying if the current region is equal to Asia replace the contribute level permissions for this particular item with the Asia group and if this one is the EMEA replace permissions with the EMEA group you can see in the contribute there is a Asia and here we have EMEA with the contribute level of permissions and now <coughs> I want the trigger options to be triggered when a new item is created when an item is changed in my workflow click on save and I'm gonna publish my workflow here click on OK my workflow will be published and then we can see how it is working workflow is published I'll go in my data list so first of all before doing anything I'll check the permissions level for my current item if I go in manage access right now everyone has the access because the permission is inheriting from the root level so everyone has the access so once I'll make any changes this permissions level should be replaced with the one I have provided in my designer workflow. So what I'll do, I'll just uh, 
I'll just add it to my this particular user one data and save this one we'll see that whether this replace the permissions for that one or not so now my workflow is started in progress once it is completed i'll see the permissions level is replaced or not it is completed now i'll check the permissions level for this one go in my manage access and if you can see that only the Asia have the permissions level for this particular item because the region is Asia. So likewise, if I make any changes to this item and the reason is Asia or EMEA, the permission level will be replaced according to that. And even if I create a new item here, <coughs> if I create a user 9 and set the permissions level, let's suppose I select EMEA here and save this one for the 9 the permission will also be changed when I create a new item. So let's just wait for some time. <coughs> it is in progress. Completed. I'll check the permissions level now. I have reasons EMEA and go in advance, check that one. And only the EMEA user have access for this particular item. So this is the way you can replace the permissions level in SharePoint Online with SharePoint 2013 Designer Workflow for your use. This will be an automatic process. That's all for this particular video. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, learn and tech. Thank you so much for watching.